The purpose of this video is to be able to set up a station and for you to do a drill to ensure that you improve your putting. It's no point going out there if you're practicing your putting and you're not getting any feedback of why you're not making more putts. The assessment has given you a percentage of how many putts you make and how many putts you miss. But what we've got set up here is a very simple practical training station that you can actually practice your drills and get feedback from yourself. You don't, you, you don't have a training partner most of the time. You might not have your golf pro there all the time. So this uh, training station will really give you excellent feedback on how solidly you're hitting the putt. Are you starting it online and are you rolling the ball end over end so that you can make more three feet, six feet, nine feet and 12 feet putts. As we know, if we can get more putts in from this distance, your scores are going to come down. There's no doubt about it. So we've got a string line here, and it's very simple. There are two little skewers here, metal skewers with a, with a string uh, attached, and that gives me a line that I want to hit the ball on. That will allow me to also check if my putter is aimed up correctly to the line that I want to hit on. Um, again, I've got a tape measure here exactly measuring out three feet, six, nine, and 12. But we've got another little uh, training aid here that is very practical. It's not something that you're gonna to have to spend a lot of dollars on. It's just a, a metal little arch that you can put your ball under and through to ensure that you're starting the ball online. So 10 balls as we normally do. And remember, this is a technical assessment or a technical exercise and not where you have to go through and do your pre-shot routines and stuff. So it's pulling the ball in, get it set up underneath the string line, check that your eyes are in the appropriate place, putter is lined up, go ahead and make the stroke. Assess whether you're striking it solidly, starting it online and getting the ball to roll end over end. So before we start, one of the key things that we need for you to understand is we need to know how long you take to do an exercise like this so that you can plan your practice sessions knowing that it takes X amount of time and therefore not lose out on some of the stuff that you might not have enough time if you don't know how long they are. So I've got a timer on my, uh, my phone and I'm going to hit that, go through the procedure and, and see how long this takes because it really is important that you get a good sense of how long each exercise that you do and each drill that you do takes so you can plan your practice and be more effective about it. So I'll put the timer on leave it over there. Remember there's no pre-shot routine so I'm going to set up the golf ball under the line and remember this also helps to get your eyes putter face lined up where you want to. Get yourself set up. Remember these these sort of practical training aids they, they can stay in your bag. You don't have to think about packing them up when you come to training. They'll be in your bag because they don't take much space up. This is string line. If you haven't got a string line, get a chalk line. That's pretty easy, but string line would be a lot easier because you can adjust the line once you've, you've got yourself lined up. As you can see, I've hit the right edge of the arch and that's given me some feedback that I've actually pushed the putt slightly. So I'm going to go back, set it up. Good feedback. Made the adjustment.
completed 10 putts, I've had some good feedback, I've made the adjustments and I don't need anybody to interfere with what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. The string line tells me that I've got myself lined up good. The little uh, arch that we have there, if you don't have that, two tees will do, just a little bit wider than a golf ball and it's about a foot and a half in front of you to ensure that the ball starts right. That's giving me good feedback that I'm starting the ball online. And if you can do that from these distances of three, six, nine, and 12 feet, you're going to make a hell of a lot more putts than what you normally are presently. So set up the, a training station, make sure that you do the drill properly, get the feedback that you need to become a better putter, and those scores will start to drop. That exercise uh, drill from three feet took three minutes and 15 seconds. Now this, uh, this drill really is a high volume, low intensity. What I mean by that is that there's, we're hitting golf balls, no pre-shot routine, the intensity is down because what we're doing is just being able to measure what the stroke is doing uh, and be able to impart to the ball the characteristics that you want. A good solid stroke, ball starting on line underneath the little arch or, or uh, object that we have here or two T's that I explained before but remember as you move back along this line uh, the, the actual break or apex could change slightly so you, you need to understand that once you've moved back from the first marker that you probably have to adjust this front pin or back pin and for this instance behind the hole so for this one here it is just slightly a little bit, little bit more break, the apex is a bit more to the left and so by adjusting it then you'll know that you are starting on the line and you're going to make the putts. I'm going to now set the, the, the actual timer again and continue with that, with that exercise. So with that, we'll start that again and go through the, the exercise of making sure the ball is right underneath the string line. Remember all we're working on here is just your mechanics and getting some feedback on what you're doing with the stroke. Solid contact, started the ball nicely online and the ball has rolled into the hole because I've got those two most important things, solid strike and starting the ball online, rolling that ball end over end. Now one of the things when you're doing this exercise, like that ball went in a little bit too slow. The, uh, the back pin that we have here, which is 18 inches behind the hole, would like the speed of the putt. If you do miss one, for it to finish just where that, that back uh, skewer is, so that you're hitting it at the right speed, that you're going to have a good chance of holding if you start it online. I've hit the inside of that arch and that's what's caused the ball to skew off to the right hand side. Make the adjustment. And this is the beauty about this exercise or this station here and this drill is that you're getting your feedback and making your own adjustments. No one's giving you their feedback and interfering what you're sensing that you need to do to make the putt roll along the line and go into the hole.